Good evening everybody, I previously made a video on this channel about Buckethead's alien sized pinky finger and whether it was actually real. A video that I thought I would never have to make, but after receiving so many comments about it, I just had to. And today is another one of those videos. Is Paul Gilbert Buckethead? Whilst the idea of whether Paul Gilbert is actually Buckethead isn't as outlandish as the footlong pinky finger story, it's still pretty far out there. But there's a lot of people who still really believe that Paul Gilbert is Buckethead. I thought I was the only one in the world who believed this. Could Paul Gilbert be Buckethead? Gilbert Bucket Paul? Buckethead is Paul Gilbert's part-time side project. Paul, love you. Eat a sandwich. PG is BH and BH is PG and nothing else. Thin bony freaks, a lot of them. Paul Gilbert is just Buckethead with a rubber mask on to make him look human. How do we know Paul and Buckethead aren't the same person? Well, Dick Whistler, let's find out and put an end to this myth. Woo! The theory of why Paul Gilbert is Buckethead first stemmed from an article in Guitar Player magazine in the late 1980s. The article featured pre-Buckethead Brian Carroll stating that Paul Gilbert was once his teacher and how his playing had improved because of him and other teachers at the time. Then when Brian Carroll became Buckethead and started to become famous in the mid-1990s, the article resurfaced and people put two and two together and came up with five. Insert coins to continue. One of the common things you'll hear from people who think that Paul Gilbert is Buckethead is that they are both really tall and skinny. And that's true. Paul Gilbert is around 6 foot 3 and Buckethead is around 6 foot 5 and they are indeed both skinny. But if that's evidence that they are the same person, then by that logic, LeBron James is the Undertaker. <laughs> And that's why LeBron chose not to meet The Undertaker after the Cavaliers game in 2016. In fact, maybe LeBron James is Buckethead. And this same logic applies to the theory that I've never seen Paul Gilbert and Buckethead together. Have you seen them in the same room though? Exactly. Well, have you seen Buckethead and Slash in the same room? Buckethead and Kane? Buckethead and Howard Stern? Exactly. And then there's those who say that they are the same person because their guitar licks and finger picking techniques are the same. Well, if one guy taught the other guy, then of course, some of their styles and licks are gonna be the same. Especially when they have about 500 albums between them and careers lasting over 30 years. But in truth, they actually don't sound that similar. In fact, if you're gonna compare styles and licks, Buckethead and the late Sean Lane would be a far better comparison. So, in regards to height, weight, styles, and never seeing them in the same room together, none of these arguments are evidence or logical. Nor does saying that because Paul Gilbert once wore the same color clothes as Buckethead, they are the same person. What is that? Big men. A giant robot. And then there's the hands. There's still people out there who are flat out convinced that Paul Gilbert's and Buckethead's hands are the same. And whilst they do both have silly long fingers and veiny hands, Paul Gilbert's hand does not look like this. The vein. <laughs> Having studied, written essays and talked about it, I could recognize Buckethead's giant vein from a police liner. That's Buckethead. And whilst Paul Gilbert's hand is pretty veiny, Buckethead's vein is turned up to 11. The only thing that comes remotely close to looking like Buckethead's right hand vein is the River Thames in London. 
Further evidence against whether Paul Gilbert is Buckethead is the fact that both Buckethead and Paul Gilbert have both spoken about each other. You can find both of these videos on this channel and it doesn't take a voice expert to know that it's two different people. There is a guitar player I love, Paul Gilbert. Oh my goodness, Buckethead was a student of mine. Yeah, and the crazy thing was, was I got to know him and he taught me and... It was pre Bucket, he didn't have the bucket yet. And as I mentioned earlier, saying they are the same person because you haven't seen them in the same room together is not evidence or logical. But what if we could put them in different rooms at the same time and have it documented? Well, we can. Because there's been numerous occasions over the years where Paul Gilbert and Buckethead have been on tour doing shows on the same day. For the skeptics out there who might say, well, Paul Gilbert played his show, jumped in a minivan, drove to another show and then performed as Buckethead, well, let's take a look at the footage again. On October 11th, 2008, Buckethead played in Virginia, USA. Paul Gilbert, Vienna, Austria. November 1st, 2008, Buckethead played in New York. Paul Gilbert, Portugal. Buckethead played in Texas. Paul Gilbert, Switzerland. Buckethead played in California. Paul Gilbert, Dublin, Ireland. And so on and so on. There's been dozens of occasions as far back as 1996 where Paul Gilbert and Buckethead were playing shows in different countries on the same days, day after day, making it physically impossible to do if they were the same person. And in just over two months time they'll be doing it again. In April, whilst Buckethead will be doing shows on the east coast of America, Paul Gilbert will be performing in Europe. Same dates, different countries, different people. So as this video has shown and what a lot of you already know, Paul Gilbert is not Buckethead. What they are is two of the greatest guitarists and musicians to ever live. And still continuing to say that they are the same person is not only disrespectful to both of them, it's an insult to their uniqueness and creativity. So let's just enjoy them for what they are, a pair of goats.
because he lived in this tiny little apartment and it was this nothing touched him. He wasn't even aware. He just was so focused on playing 